Section 4 Scaling Agile Using DevOps Processes In this section, we're going to have a look at how to scale Agile and some of the principles around that, whether that be DAD, SAFE or LESS. And then we're going to move on to structuring Visual Studio Team Services and TFS to use team collaboration. And then finally, we're going to move on to managing your portfolio with the delivery plan new feature. Scaling Agile using DevOps processes. As the introduction states, projects rarely consist of a single team. And what we're going to be looking at throughout this video is we're going to be covering off how to work within team scrums of scrums, a number of different teams working on features, enablement, on different capabilities, maybe doing PI planning, and how you bring that all together to give you a single view of how your velocity and how you're tracking against your plan. So we're going to look at Scaled Agile and also some of the associated DevOps processes around this. As in previous videos, I've used Scaled Agile Framework as a great example of how you can scale Agile. The current version, 4.5, is made up of four tiers. Top tier is the portfolio level. This is where the enterprise defines the strategic themes, and then we look at lean portfolio management across the value stream. Now the second tier is looking at the large solution. As I mentioned on the previous section, this is value stream mapping. So this is around the solution train and understanding what high level value your organization is bringing. Now the tiers that most smaller organizations are used to is definitely the program tier, where that program of work could span across a number of different teams or a different number of different products. At this point, you're looking really at some of the cultural side of things, such as DevOps and how you implement that across some kind of continuous delivery pipeline, uh, of which you've then got to coordinate a whole stack of features and enablement coming from teams. So the final section is the teams, and this could be a number of teams doing a number of different iterations at different speeds, and these are the, what we're going to be covering off in this section. Okay, so what is SAFE? I think I've kind of given a, an introduction before, but this is how you can scale Agile at an enterprise level. So as you can see on the right-hand side, the implementation roadmap is a way of how your organization could look at actually adopting something like SAFE. And then the second component, which we have covered in previous sections, is around how you embrace this lean Agile mindset. And DevOps plays a very key component of that, of how you bring it all together and help improve the success of the deliveries and the quality of the outcomes. So let's start at the top tier. Portfolio management, or sometimes I've referred to this as PPM, Portfolio Project Management, has a number of different tools, ranging all the way up to your executive scorecard tools. Now, custom tools have been built for this, but it's very difficult to be able to understand how you're delivering lots of different programs of work with lots of different teams one of the projects which I worked on, or a portfolio level project, was the Operational Excellence Program for a large-scale investment bank. Within that, there was 2,700 products or teams. And within that, you had 14,000 different endpoints and components and solutions that may, was used to actually build that over about 10,000 people. So these are very challenging scales and part of it is this won't be able to cover in enough detail how you can actually look at tracking that at such high levels where this is usually where your PMO your portfolio management office would be responsible for this so what I've done is I've included a lab which you can actually spin up and actually try these different examples of how you manage at the portfolio level and how 2018 TFS has really helped bring in some new features to enable this the next level down Previously, the value stream component is now this large solution. I've mentioned three separate types throughout this videos. SAFE, which is the Scaled Agile Framework. DAD, which is Distributed Agile Delivery. And LESS, which is Scrum of Scrums. They're all very different methodologies, and it all depends on what works best for your organization. The program level. I kind of mentioned at the program level, you may have a number of different initiatives which you're trying to run. DevOps being a great example continuous integration, build, delivery, deployment, learning. This is bringing in all of the different tool chains to understand how you can monitor and measure this. So this kind of goes between Visual Studio Online and Team Foundation Server to beyond. So this could be a much greater scale 
of different tools within a, some kind of hybrid on-premise or cloud-based implementation. You'll find that there's usually a huge mix of different tooling, so therefore being able to get that information and report on it using something like Power BI is very challenging. You have to understand how to actually monitor and measure this information throughout the pipeline. And this is why a lot of pipeline visualization tools are now available for DevOps. You can actually understand whether or not you're deploying this into Azure, whether or not you're actually deploying this using deploy agents or PowerShell V6. You know, you really need to understand the desired state configurations and all this kind of the stuff that goes behind DevOps. That is the tooling side of things and also the process side of things like chat ops, which I'll, I'll mention later in this section, and also the people and the cultural side of things and how people work. And we'll be covering this with using things like Microsoft Teams and how you can collaborate better at an enterprise scale. Finally, we're gonna be looking at the team level. The team level is how you structure your teams, and this can go from a traditional horizontal team structure, which is what you see in most organizations where they're working on separate components, whether that be the back end, the front end, the mobile app, or it's actually vertical teams, which are more feature orientated or solution orientated. So this could be around how they deliver GDPR compliant or mask PII data, which could span across a number of different products. But they're a team with an objective, not just a single component or a single feature. But this is a decision you have to make based on what works best within your organization. The next video, we're gonna look at how you construct